بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome my dear students in our new program Knowledge Bank My name is Mrs. Eman I will be with you in biology for first secondary This term we have two units First unit uh, genetics Second unit classification of the living organism Modern classification of the living organism Let's start with the first unit, genetics. What's meant by genetics? It is a science that study the transmission of hereditary traits from parents to offspring. Chromosomes and genetic information. The genetic informations are carried on the chromosomes inside the nucleus. The chromosomes are located in homologous pairs of the somatic cells. Here we must discuss the difference between type of the cell in your body. We have two types of cells, somatic cells and reproductive cells. We can discuss that by a simple way in front of you. Type of cells. We have two types of cells in your body. Somatic cells. or body cell. Another type, reproductive cell. We call it sex cell or gametes. Somatic cell are produced by mitosis. The number of chromosome inside somatic cell is diploid number. Mean 2N. Example of somatic cell in your body Blood, skin, hair, tests, ovary. All these are somatic cell contain a diploid number of chromosomes. The diploid number here means a complete number of chromosome 2N. What about reproductive cell or gametes? Gametes are produced by meiosis. The chromosome, the number of chromosome is haploid number. Haploid mean half number n. Example of, soma, uh, example of sex cell sperm ova or egg cell Pulling grain implant. The question here why the gamete contain half number or haploid number of the chromosomes? Just Tests is a reproductive organ which contain 2N, that means 
It's body cell, somatic cell. By meiosis, tests produce sperm. Haploid number, half number. In another side, ovary. Reproductive organ in the female. By meiosis, the number of chromosomes change into half in ova or XL. N. By fertilization process, Zygote is formed. Zygote here, one cell containing a complete number of chromosomes, 2N. Zygote divide mitosis and producing embryo which contain million of cells. Number of chromosomes. The number of chromosomes in living organism different from a species to another, but it it is constant in, the in, in individuals of the same species. When you look at the table in front of you, you will see some living organism and the number of chromosomes in the somatic cell. That means the number here is deployed number, complete number of chromosomes. Human, as example, containing 46 chromosomes in each cell Chromosome found in bears, 23 bears. Hen, containing 32 chromosomes, 16 bears. Onion plants contain 16, 16 chromosomes in all body cell or somatic cell that mean eight, eight bears, eight bears. Pea plant, 14. 14 chromosomes, 7 birds. Can you type? We can classify chromosomes when they are in a cleanest form. Chromosomes are classified into homologous pairs in somatic cells. We studied somatic cell. Somatic cells mean body cell. What about homologous pairs? Homologous pairs here, that chromosome carry same type of genes and the same size. Homologous mean same size in chromosome and the same type of genes. In front of you, a karyotype diagram, male, male karyotype and female karyotype. When you look, this is a somatic cell. Why this is a somatic cell in male and female? Because chromosome here is deployed, bears, as you see in male and in females, chromosome in bears. When you look to the figure, the chromosomes are arranged in descending order. The tallest one bear number one, and, and the shorter one bear number 23. From the bear one to the bear 22 carry autosomes. 
all somatic informations in male and females. But the pair number 23, we call it six chromosomes because it carry informations determine the sex of the embryo. We hear in the male one is longer than the other. We call it XY. But in female the two sets similar in lens. We call it XX. Karyotype definition it is a descending arrangement of the chromosomes according to their size and number. Living organisms have different number of chromosomes, while members of the same species have the same number of chromosomes. Human karyotype. There are 23 pairs of chromosomes in living in human somatic cell. The number of chromosomes in somatic cell is 23 pairs, pairs that mean 46 chromosomes. These chromosomes are arranged descending according to size from Bear number one to bear number 23. From longer to shortest. From tallest one to shortest one. From bear number one to bear 22 are called autosomes. This is a new word to you. Autosomes here, somatic somatic body cell. All the genetic information about your body found on the, the, the chromosome from number one to the bear number 22. The bear of number 23, the bear number 23 representing the sex chromosomes. Why? It carry genetic informations of sex determinations. As, you, as we see in male XY, but in the female XX. The order of the bear number 23 after the bear number 7 in length. But it found here because it carry information about the sex. But from the bear number one to the bear twenty two carry information about your body. Chromosome and genes. Let's discuss this part by a simple way. Nucleus each nucleus in your body containing chromosomes. Structure of the chromosome as you study first term DNA plus protein. DNA sequence of nucleotide the building unit of the DNA is nucleotide what about the gene? gene sequence 
of nucleotide in DNA. that make a certain code of protein. That help to appear certain trait. Again, nucleus inside your body containing chromosomes. Chromosomes structure is DNA plus protein. The building unit of the DNA is nucleotide. Sequence of the nucleotide making DNA. DNA carry gene. Sequence of nucleotides that make a certain code of protein that help to appearing a trait. A chromosome is made of DNA and protein. DNA carries genes which have the genetic information of living organisms. A gene consists of a series or a sequence of nucleotides. It forms protein codes. It forms a protein codes which are responsible for the appearance of the traits in living organisms. Chromosomal theory, made by Bovary and Sutton. Somatic cells have homologous pairs of chromosomes, 2N, complete number. Gametes has a half number of chromosomes N due to meiosis division. Each pair of chromosomes acts independently at the formation of gametes. After fertilization process, the number, the normal number of chromosomes 2N comes back. Each chromosome carry hundreds of genes. In front of you, a question about karyotype. The opposite figure representing a karyotype of a human cell. Look to the figure and try to answer the question. The first point, does this karyotype Does this karyotype represent a somatic cell or sick cell? And why? When you look at the diagram, you will see the chromosome in bears. That means it is somatic cells. Why? Chromosomes are deployed in number. Second point, does it represent a cell of male or female human and why? When you look to the bear number 23, which de determine the sex of the individual, you will see XY, 
difference. That means this karyotype related to male because it's containing bear XY. Third point, how many autosomes? You remember word autosomes? Autosomes here, somatic. Are present in this karyotype how many autosomes? And how many six chromosomes are present in this karyotype? Autosome or somatic begin from bear number one to bear 22. But six chromosome, just one bear, bear number 23. The answer here, 20 two bears related to autosomes and just one bear related to sex chromosome. Some symbols of genetics. Cross here mean conjugations or make reproduction. This is symbol of male. Another symbol for female. Parents. Gametes. First offspring. Second offspring. Let's talk about allelomorphic character or traits. What's meant by word allelomorphic? Allelomorphic here, the opposite characters, which the clear difference. In front of you, a diagram Explain the allelomorphic character for pea plant. Opposite characters. One red and the other white. This is allele. Another one, the size of the flower in pea plant. We have two sides, one axial, the other is apical. Axial here, the flower grow, the flower grow laterally from the stem. But in the apical, the flower grow terminal. We can explain it. the stem like this leaves when the flower comes like this this position we call it axial but Another stem, the flower grow terminal. At the end of our program, thank you for your attention. Inshallah, I will meet you again next week.